Welcome back. Live from Dallas, Texas today, Kirsten Sinema's win in Arizona proved Democrats have the potential to flip traditionally red state Senate seats. But while Sinema found success with moderate voters, Congressman Beto, Beto O'Rourke failed in his appeal to, pro to progressive Texans, even though he raised all that money there. This is the party is mulling a path to victory for 2020. What worked and what didn't? Power panel now, let's slide them in. Leslie Marshall, Democrat strategist and radio host, and David Webb, host of the David Webb Show on Sirius X and Patriot. Great to see you uh, both today. David, Great I to wanna start you. with you. Democrats, what worked for Kirsten Cinema in Arizona? What worked for Kirsten Cinema in Arizona, Harris, was what was missing. What was missing was outward support from the McCain wing of the party, uh, from Jeff Flake and those who supported him. The Republicans didn't come together in Arizona. They didn't take the pragmatism of winning the race first and having the debate over various policies within the Republican Party. Therefore, she was able to eke out a narrow win, mm. but I wouldn't take it as a full bellwether that this is suddenly going to portend a uh, uh, sweep by the Democrats in the Senate in the future. Yeah, it, it's interesting what you say, because I was watching Twitter yesterday and, and Senator Flake was one of the first to, to wish Kirsten Sinema a congratulations. What's happening down there, Leslie? Well, I think one of the things, and I would disagree with uh, David, I think it breaks down to three things. One, Arizona has become far more purple uh, than Texas has. Texas is still very, very red. Uh, two, she had the message of common ground. And we're seeing in states that are more purple or are in between red and blue, uh, uh, more of this desire to have this overlap, this common ground. I'm going to get things done. I'm going to work with not just the Democrats as a Democrat, but with the Republicans. And then third, there is the female element. Uh, you have to remember that not only did she win Maricopa County, uh, which is one of the more liberal and certainly more populated counties, but she also won McSally's district uh, in and around Tucson, which is typically a very red area. So we're seeing changing demographics and we're yeah. seeing women not very happy with a lot of what's going on uh, from the president and his administration. So uh, two things there, having sat down with both of these candidates for a town hall just a couple of months ago, Cinema is actually from Tucson, so that's her home. You talk about going purple, um, a message of common ground. David, Kirsten Cinema has voted with President Trump 60 percent of the time. Even if she didn't make a message known, that's a lot for a Democrat. No, it is a lot for a Democrat, but it was also for her politically expedient to move forward. If you look at the types of votes she cast, those were votes where there was already, call it the common ground agreement, where she departs from the president because it's not just about the numbers, is in the types of policies she has written about. If you look at her report on Israel, where she supports a two-state solution, where she supports the idea that there should be an Israel and a Palestine and a demilitarized Palestine that is in contrast with the Hamas leadership that's there. So it's one thing to mm. cast a vote it's one thing to do the numbers, but when you look at the importance of the policies and their scope, she certainly departs from the American people and from what is the realistic solution when Hamas or Palestinian leaders don't recognize Israel. Uh, you know, it's interesting, too, to hear Leslie talking about how purple she thinks Arizona is. Establishment Republicans, you say, didn't support the candidate. Uh, are you looking at a red state that may not be so red? Just a yes or no for you, David. I think it's purple based on the way people have voted, but it's kind of trended that way with McCain and with Flake. And Arizonans need to make a choice mm. which policies secure their future economically yeah, from a security perspective on their borders. Democrats haven't delivered either. David Webb, Leslie Marshall, thank you very much. Great to see you. Thank you, Harris.